Good morning, everyone. Today's video and the two that follow go out particularly to school directors and owners, students, barbers, cosmetology, esthetician, nails. You're welcome to watch and hopefully learn something. But as I said, it goes out particularly to school owners and directors. The three video series is entitled How to Stay in Business Boot Camp. It's very simple. We're trying to help you as a school owner or director, sometimes both, help your instructors to help your students to pass their licensing exam. Now, I know that some of you are ready to walk away right now because you all know everything. It's sort of a human nature where you know everything there is about everything, but we don't. Ask yourself a simple question. If your students are passing over 90%, yeah, walk away, get that cigarette and cup of coffee. If they're not, sit back down and pay attention. Okay? Think about it this way. After a while, if your students can't pass the test, word gets out that if you go to that school, you won't pass the test. And if people stop going to that school, pretty soon that school is out of business and you're looking for a new job. So this is why you need your students to pass the test. Now I know there's plenty of blame to go around. The students don't pay attention. I've been in this business for more than 30 years. I've had students that end the year in school with us and their book like, looks like it looked on day one, never opened. You can't do anything about that. But I've also had students that studied very hard. We do a lot of private tutoring online through Zoom, WhatsApp, FaceTime, a lot of students, very good students. They study a lot. Their book is tabbed everywhere and they still can't pass the test. And this is the fault of the teachers not the student. If the student's book remains unopened, it's their fault. If it's been well read and highlighted and tabbed and they still can't pass, that's your fault as a teacher. And that's why we're here today. Because again, if your students can't pass the test, after a while word gets out, don't go to that school because you can't pass the test. There's an industry term, as in many things, for what that's called. It's called out of business. Now, to avoid this, your instructors need to be teaching what's on the test today. Not what's on the test last year or 35 years ago when they took it, but what's being asked on the test today. Those of you in the industry for a long time recognize the test is always evolving. It doesn't stay the same. If it stayed the same year after year, we'd all have a 100% pass rate or at least 95% and we don't. The national pass rate for barbers is right around 55%. That means almost half the students will fail nationally every day. And if your rate's better than that, good for you. But if it's not, you need to pay attention. Cosmetologists got about a 65% pass rate. Again, if your rate's 95%, grab that cup of coffee and leave. But if it's not, then sit down and pay attention. We're gonna to try to help you so your teachers will know what's on the test today and they will make sure that they can convey this information to the students. Because if they don't know what's on the test today, how are they gonna teach the students? Now, we're gonna go over a couple of questions this morning that are being asked right now. Barbers, cosmetologists, estheticians, nail technicians. The first question, what is the difference between anhydrosis and osteotosis. This should be a give me question for a lot of people. The word anhydrosis includes the word hydrosis, Latin for sweat. Every time you see the word ending in hydrosis, you should be thinking about water and sweat. Now that leads you with osteotosis. Now, this is a little more difficult. Let's take a look here. Here's the esthetician book, current version. What does it say about osteotosis? On page 261, it says, Asteatosis, dry, scaly skin from a sebum deficiency. Let's look at what the Barber book says about osteotosis. On page 235, Asteatosis is a condition of dry, scaly skin characterized by the absolute or partial deficiency of sebum. Now let's see what the cosmetology book 
has to say about osteotosis. On page number 519, oh, wait a minute. It doesn't say anything. Apparently, cosmetologists and their clients never suffer from dry, scaly skin. Well, that's good to know, okay? I think it comes as a surprise to most people, but apparently, according to my lady, it's a non-issue for cosmetologists. I point this out for a simple reason. These three textbooks I just showed you all come from the same company, and they're all the latest edition. Why does the barber and the esthetician book define osteotosis differently? And why does the cosmetology book fail to talk about it at all? The same company, all the current editions, clearly the company is aware of osteotosis. It's in two of their books. But it's not in the main cosmetology book, which is probably more than 50% of the test takers any given day. And you wonder why they can't pass the test. Your teachers should be reading all three of those textbooks, and possibly even this one. From a competitor company. There are a number of questions found in this book that are not found in those books. Okay? So you need, as a teacher, to be cognizant of all of these books. Your students are never going to read them, but you need to read them. And if you don't have time to read them, then you need to watch our videos. You need to get our books. We have the books for every subject in English and in Spanish, barber, cosmetology, skin care, nail technology, which will give you the questions. If you have no time to read these four textbooks, and I understand that, they're over a thousand pages apiece, then you need to get our videos. We're going to talk about one more thing, which is a little tricky question. What are shadow waves? Shadow waves cannot be found in any of those textbooks, any of the four books I showed you, and yet they occur constantly with barbers and cosmetologists. Shadow waves are a type of finger waves where one ridge is higher than the ridge next to it. High, low, high, low, etc. It's a common question about the barber and cosmetology exam. Now, give us a call if you have any questions at 760-534-4434. Visit us online at www.cosmetologystateboardexam.com. We have books available in English and Spanish. We have telephone operators who speak English and Spanish. And make sure you tune in for the second video in this boot camp series. Thank you so much and look forward to seeing you again.